All right guys, welcome back to a new edit. So today's edit, I'm gonna go back to Bluebell Hill. I'll probably call it like Bluebell Hill part three. And I'm hopefully gonna go to Boxley Woods today as well. The weather is absolutely gorgeous. So we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a really good day on the bike. Uh, I just wanna say a big thank you once again to all everyone for the love and support uh, i did mention it on my instagram page the other day it's tom.hub87 that's my uh, instagram account guys and uh yeah just i just wanted to say a big big thank you to everyone i cannot believe there's 170 subscribers 170 of you guys have subscribed to watch me ride my bike and yeah it's amazing honestly i literally just do it for fun guys and for me to look back on and my instagram is literally just for me to look back on but i i, I think it's awesome that you guys enjoy it as well so uh yeah right short and sweet enough of the chit chat i want to get on my bike let's get in the woods Hello. Morning. All right. All right, guys. It is so nice to be at. The weather today is perfect and the shorts are on the first time this year proper ride with the shorts on absolutely amazing weather you can't beat it Morning. Morning. Hey guys, check this out. This is what Muff was building. You remember that edit I done where I was helping him shovel for a little bit? He was building that monster jump. Let's see if uh, you can. I don't know if you can tell how steep that is. The landing is just there, and it's not much of a, a landing. And then it's off camber, you've got to go left, but it wants to chuck you right. But that is a big old jump. <sighs> There's only one person that I know that's done that so far with a picture to prove uh, is my mate Jay. And uh, yeah, he said it's a big old boy. Me, myself, I class myself as a Dan Country rider. I've got 114 mil travel on the back and 140 on the front. I don't think I want to risk that one. I don't mind a jump here and there, but that's a that's a big old boy. So I think we're past that one. Right, let's continue. You all right, guys? So I wanted to talk about Strava, and it's a it's been a hot topic of mine of late because um. When I got into mountain biking properly, and this is when I got my Yeti last May 2020, that's when I really started mountain biking. Um, I've all, I mean, I've always done it before that, but when I got my Yeti, it's when I really started exploring new places and uh, picking up my speed. But I've always just done it for fun and fitness. And uh, so, Last May, I got my, my Yeti. Uh, I've always been on Strava, but I never subscribed to it. I just had it for, I'd just like to see uh, how many miles I've done 
and uh, how many calories I've burnt, <laughs> roughly, so I want to know what uh, pizza or takeaway I can have that night. But uh, there was a, a point last year where I was going out and I was basically just trying to get, uh, you know, bests on every trail. And uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm no, I'm no slouch. I mean, I'm not, I don't race mountain bikes, but you know, up Bluebell Hill, I've got a few, quite a few trails in here that I'm like top three. Um, but for me, it's, it's not about that. What I'm getting at is that I was going out and like I'm all up for a bit of a competitive fun with your mates. Totally get that. I enjoy that. You know, like egg each other on to hit a big jump and all that kind of stuff. But I was going out on my own and trying to put these times in and really push my limit. And you know what I found? I found I, I was not having fun on my rights. I was taking it like too seriously. So now I've unsubscribed off of Strava. I'm still on it, but so I can't see my times and I'm not going out anymore and looking what times I do. I don't care about that. For me guys, you should get your bike out and just go and have fun. That is the main thing. That's what I'm getting at here. Just go out and have fun. Don't worry about how quick your mates are or how quick that person is. Just go and have fun. How you doing lads, you all right? Um, that's what it's all about. Like the face, the faces on them lads. You can tell they're just having a great time. They don't care about how fast they're going. They just want to be out on their bike in the beautiful weather and have a good time. And yeah, I can't knock anyone. If that is your thing, if you have fun going out and putting times in, like all the best to you, like continue doing it. If you're having fun, that is what I'm getting at. If you have fun going out and doing that, keep on doing it. I live my life, do what makes you happy. So for me, just getting on my bike and riding, that makes me happy. I could not care how fast I go down a trail or what jumps I can do or can't do. Literally just bike time, that's what makes me happy. But if there's some of you guys out there that like to go and put hot laps in and seeing your Shriver time, like fair play to you. As long as you're having fun with it, I'm all for it. So uh, yeah, that's, that's all I've got to say about Strava. That's my little rant about Strava. Uh, brilliant little word tool to have. Um, yeah, that's, that's all I've got to say about it, guys. Right, I think I'm 10 miles in. Let's continue. Right guys, I just wanted to highlight one more thing to you. On my last Bluebell Hill edit and Monkwood edit, that I said that I had done some steep trails on the other side and I'd be coming back to um, coming back with my full face helmet and go and hit them again. But uh, something's been brought to my attention that actually on this side of the woods and totally put my hands up, it's my fault that this is private property no cycling so for me guys i'm not going to be riding this side of the woods anymore um i will respect the rules like i wouldn't put myself on youtube um to sort of you know wind people up or basically you know i, I just I'm, I'm a respectful person so for me if that's private property no cycling the sign says it i will I will respect that and um, I will stay out of that side of the woods now. Um, what you do with that information is entirely up to you, but I just thought I'd highlight it for you. So for me, I will just stick on the other side. And to be fair guys, there's, there's three trails on that side and every time you finish your trail, because they're steep, it's a very steep climb back up. So the ones in uh, Monkwood and Bluebell, you can have a good day's ride there. Every trail is a nice pedal up. 
this side is a it's a real steep climb back up so yeah i just thought i'd highlight that to you guys just let you know let you be aware i don't want i don't want anyone getting in trouble and uh i, I put it on my last edit i was totally oblivious I, I never even see these signs maybe i was just too excited to ride them um but for me from now on i'm just going to leave that side alone um like i said i respect the boundaries and uh, i will continue to do that like i said i wouldn't put myself on youtube and uh and cause trouble be a troublemaker so yeah just letting you know guys all right you all right there Thank you. cool could you find a bigger horse <laughs> jesus you all right then guys well i just got back home um i hope you really enjoyed this edit uh it was nice to meet allison by the way guys the uh the bit i mentioned where it's private property now I met a lady called Alison and her husband, absolutely lovely people. Well, they've recently purchased that side of the woods. So when I actually went into them part of the woods, the signs weren't up, but I believe Alison and her husband, they're gonna be putting uh, no cycling signs up, guys. Like I said, uh, what you do with this information is entirely up to you, but I'm gonna respect Alison and her husband that's their side they've purchased it I, I can assure you i will not be riding that side anymore guys so uh i just want i just want to give you guys a heads up um just so you know i don't want anyone getting in trouble or getting hurt as in falling off on the trails because they are very steep but um yeah thanks for uh, watching this edit guys um like i said i really appreciate all the support and love i get from you guys i literally get nothing but love but yeah and thanks again i appreciate all the love and support the next edit, I will definitely be going to Boxley, all right? All right, guys, you keep well. See you soon.